Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from the Hilton Orlando. I have the entire family here with me. We're doing a staycation here. And I love this hotel already because of the location. It's right off International Drive. It's super close to Universal Orlando. This is actually a Universal Partner Hotel. So you can go downstairs and buy your official Universal tickets. And they also offer transportation to the park. But I am here because there's an escape game that you can find at this hotel. So we're gonna be doing that. There's a few restaurants we're gonna be checking out. There's a spa, I'm going to be getting a massage. There's a huge pool area. I mean, it's massive with a lazy river, an adult only pool, and the pool itself is just, like I said, really big and there's a water slide. This hotel offers so much. I cannot wait to show you the entire resort and give you a room tour. A big thank you to the Hilton Orlando for having us out. Let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. And here we are. We are staying on the 12th floor, room 1290. Here's the bathroom here. Very nice. I love the colors in here. You have your sink, plenty of towels, and hair dryer. Here's your toilet. And then you have a standard bathtub, which is going to be nice for the kiddo. It's nice and deep. There's your shower head. You have some soap right there. On the other side of the bathroom, you can find a full length mirror. And then you have a closet. Ooh, look at that. We have a couple of robes and slippers. You have a luggage stand, ironing board, iron hangers, a laundry bag right there. You have a hook from the closet. You can find your main sleeping area. We have two queen size beds. They look very comfortable. You have some art, your thermostat, outlets. In the middle, you can find your telephone, remote. Looks like a iHome speaker with two USB ports for charging. Some storage down there. And then you have your dresser. A really nice LG TV. You have your coffee maker. And then I think down here, yes, you can find your mini refrigerator. Pretty standard. Good amount of space in there. You can also find the safe right here inside of the dresser. That's kind of cool. Lots of storage for all of your clothes. Over here, you have your ice bucket, a few cups, and a few waters. For three dollars unless you are a Hilton Honors member like we are those are included oh look at this we have a little care package from the Hilton with a little note here some sunglasses and from there you can find some more outlets a pen a notepad ignore our crumble cookies these are for later nice little office desk with a chair trash another mirror a light. I love the space of this room. I really do. Have a nice chair, table, some more art. I mean, look at the space in here. It also smells so good in here, so clean. And then from there, you have a nice little window right here. That is going to be Epic Universe, Universal's newest theme park. And then we can see downtown Orlando off in the distance right there. There's iDrive right there. We can see Volcano Bay. That's the convention center, but we will definitely see the universal fireworks throughout this stay. All right, we're all settled in. We are all unpacked. Now we're just trying to debate what we're going to be doing this evening because all the fun here at the Hilton Orlando really starts tomorrow. I'm thinking we may go see Jurassic World Dominion because right down the road, maybe three to five minutes away we have a 4dx movie theater if you guys don't know what 4dx is basically your seat will move with the movie and there's all kinds of effects so i think we may go try to see if we can find some tickets and then we're probably going to be heading downstairs for dinner like i said the convention center is right here but the point orlando movie theater the 
4DX theater is right here. So we could walk to it if we wanted to. It's super close. And then you have all the restaurants and entertainment offerings all throughout International Drive right there. Well, this is exactly why you don't wait until the last minute to book your movie tickets because on a big movie with opening weekend, of course, everywhere is pretty much sold out and there's no availability left. Like the 4DX movie theater, there's like nothing all weekend. Even like the nearby movie theaters like Universal and even Disney Springs, there's hardly anything left. So we may have to wait, which is okay. We're just gonna head downstairs and see what the night brings us. I also want to mention, because I forgot to tell you guys this earlier, but parking per day is $27 and they also offer valet parking as well. All right, a few hours later, we have changed and we are ready for dinner. We are going downstairs to Spencer's. It is a seafood and steak restaurant. Yum, our favorite. You hungry? Of course. I am too. <laughs> Dinner let's, time. let's go down there. We're starving. <laughs> okay, we have made it back downstairs. You have check-in right here. You have the Universal Vacation Planning Center. Hello! <laughs> They're so nice here. Thank you. You have the nice bar right here. And then Spencer's is just right here. Let's head in. It's also a Friday and we just walked up and they were able to take us right away. Now, I was told Hilton recently renovated this entire area right here with the nice bar here, but we're now inside of the restaurant. This is like the bar area, the lounge. Very nice bar here. We have been seated. Here's a quick look at their menu. Here's the appetizers. I think we may get the chilled shrimp. They also have this chilled lobster tail. That sounds interesting. Starters and salads. Here's your entrees. Twin lobster tail. Steaks and chops. Wow, they have a lot to choose from. There's some sauces. And then you have your sides. Yeah, I think I have some decisions to make here. Check out this massive wine menu. It never ends. <laughs> There's so many options. Wow. And here's a quick look at the cocktail menu. Fall fashioned. A Cuban espresso martini. That sounds really good. Apple cider sour. Rum Hatton. A moon dancer. I was walking around and look at this. They have a wine room with a table. So maybe this is like a chef's table of some sort. I would love to have a dinner in here. Look at all of the wine. This room is beautiful. They have restrooms back here by the wine room. I love this open kitchen. It really makes a difference. Sardo, and then it's herb butter. So, you know, it's like, it's one of those things that if they tell you what's kind of herb, they gotta kill you. So, we don't know. <laughs> but different kinds of herb. <laughs> nice. So we have sourdough and uh, herb butter. Herb butter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Wow, I just had the first bite of this sourdough bread with the herb butter. It's freshly baked, it's still warm. That is really good. For our appetizer, we decided to go with the chilled shrimp. Look at these monsters, my goodness. And then the cocktail sauce, they make it in-house and it's laying in a bed of seaweed right there. So the chilled shrimp was fantastic. Those shrimp were monsters. The cocktail sauce had a little bit of a kick to it. It was just a really great appetizer. Bianca's daughter, she really enjoyed the chilled shrimp as well. It's uh, so far it's perfect for everybody in the family. Bianca got a Shirley Temple, it's really good. Oh, I think they all know. <laughs> for my adult beverage this evening, I decided to go with the Cuban Espresso Martini for $13. I know this is more of a dessert drink, but I was just really in the mood for a Espresso Martini. This is Miami Club Cuban Coffee Liqueur, Vanilla Vodka, Cold Brew, and Fresh Nutmeg. This may be the best Espresso Martini I have ever had, and I believe it's that Cuban coffee to it it's also the nutmeg in there you can smell it oh this is so good i cannot recommend this beverage enough and the kiddo got macaroni and cheese that looks really good michelle went ahead and brought out the order a little bit early before our entrees arrived all right our entrees have arrived this looks really good huh 
and our server was able to split up our entree because this equals out to be one entree, but we're able to get it split because we are counting our calories. But we got the filet mignon with a lobster tail. Look at that. Is that a half a lobster tail? I mean, that is massive. Look at the lemon. But yeah, this looks really good. Let's dig in. For our side, Bianca ordered a loaded baked potato. That looks really good. But they went ahead and brought out loaded mashed potatoes as well. That was a really good lobster tail and steak together. The mashed potatoes were so creamy. We actually like the mashed potatoes better than the loaded baked potato. And we got the mashed potatoes by accident. So that was, it worked out for us. But is this the best steakhouse in Orlando located inside of a Hilton? Possibly. The filet mignon was cooked to perfection. We got it medium and it just melted in my mouth. It was so good. The flavor had a nice little char taste to it and then the lobster tail was just so creamy and buttery and it, again it just melts in your mouth. It was, that was my favorite part of this dinner so far was the lobster tail. Also, I want to mention this because I feel like it's important. Last week, we were able to dine at Narcuzzi's inside of the Grand Floridian and we pretty much had the same entree, steak and lobster. That was really good, but I have to say, this dinner was better in many different ways. Narcuzzi's was still really good. I, I enjoy that place at Walt Disney World, but for a steakhouse outside of Disney and Universal, I mean, it's pretty much located on International Drive, and this is a Hilton. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Like, to be honest, I had no idea that this restaurant even existed until this weekend, and I feel like it's a hidden gem for sure because it's a Friday night, and this place is not busy at all. I don't know why it's not because this place deserves to be full every single night, but I feel like there's a bunch of locals in here and there's also a good amount of hotel guests. But other than that, I mean, that's all I'm seeing in here, which could really work out to your advantage. I mean, it's working out for us. It's also very calm, relaxing. I love the atmosphere, the service, and just the vibe. It's, it's really nice in here. Look at this and they finish it off here at the table. Oh, look at the steam. Wow. Oh, it's melting. Oh my goodness, look at that inside. We just finished up with our dessert. We ordered the chocolate dome cake and then lemon sorbet. Both were really good. The chocolate dome cake was different. It was very rich with the ice cream and the raspberry sauce. It worked really well together, but Spencer's, I highly recommend, come check this place out. Whoa, we have so many firework shows happening right now. I don't know, oh, that's SeaWorld. SeaWorld Orlando's right there. And then Universal is right here. There were fireworks just now. Look how close we are to SeaWorld Orlando. I forgot to mention that earlier. This is such a great location. I'm pretty sure we can see Disney from here. Yes, we can see Disney. So there's SeaWorld and there's Epcot right here. We can see Spaceship Earth. I need these Universal fireworks to come back. Did we miss it? They're right here. And then there's Icon Park, Top Golf, Fun Spot. Again, the convention center. We have made it back up to the room. I am now watching game four. Come on, Golden State. But that's gonna do it from day one. It's going on 10 o'clock p.m. I really wish I had more dessert, but just trying to watch what I eat right now. I'm still thinking about that dinner, but we have a long day tomorrow. I wake up, have breakfast with the family. 
I'm off to the spa and then we have a cabana poolside so we're going to be pretty much outside all day depending on the rain because we do have a pretty big storm system moving in tomorrow unfortunately so hopefully it's not so bad and then we are playing the escape game around the hotel tomorrow so I'll see you guys bright and early good morning it is now the next day we slept pretty good we did sleep in so we did not wake up bright and early but now we're all up and about we're gonna head downstairs see if we can still get breakfast because it is a little after 10 and then I am going down to the spa to get a massage and then we're gonna be down by the pool all day in our cabana and then we have to play the escape game around the resort and that's something we are all looking forward to. So let's go ahead and get our day started. We have made it back down to the main lobby. Right there is the front entrance. You have check-in right here. We're gonna be walking straight just a little bit further and go check out the market for breakfast. And here we are at Scratch Market. This is where you'll come, get your food, snacks, drinks, beverages, souvenirs, medicine. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh my goodness. There's so much candy. Looks like they still have a few selections for breakfast, but we did miss the majority of it. They have a few breakfast sandwiches left. The classic bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted bagel for $9. They have the deluxe, which is on a butter croissant with Canadian bacon, and the sausage muffin with turkey sausage for $9. Here's a few pastries they have. Donuts. Some danishes, fruit. Orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, milk. I went with the Canadian bacon, egg and cheese on a butter croissant. And I also got an iced Americano with soy milk. The kiddo got the same sandwich as me and a blueberry muffin and a milk. And Bianca got, what, the same thing and an iced coffee. Here's some of the grab and go items. You have your beverages, beer, wine, white claws, some cereal, fruit, oatmeal. They also have protein bars here, which is a really nice thing for us. Lots of different chips, pistachios, pretzels, chocolate, hot Cheetos, ooh, plantain chips. Back in this corner, they have a whole little section of nutrition items. They have some grab and go salads, sandwiches, fruit, more beverages. If you forgot anything or have any kind of emergency, they have you covered. Medicine and such. Sunblock. They have a few different souvenirs to choose from. Some t-shirts. Florida, the sunshine state. Corksicles. Nice. I like the Spider-Man one and this Iron Man one. There's a Black Panther. And then right here in the middle, you can place a order and they will make cheeseburgers, a Cuban sandwich, barbecue brisket sandwich, pizzas, fresh, made to order, chicken wings, chicken tenders. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. There's some seating. And then you just come over here to this kiosk to place your order and pay. I do want to point out the market is open 24 seven. We just left breakfast. I am now heading downstairs to the spa for my massage and Bianca and the kiddo are going to be heading out to the pool for a little bit until I get out of my massage and then we're gonna find our cabana and see what else the day brings. So far, I'm really enjoying this day. It's a lot of fun. It's very relaxing and very calm. And here we are, heading in. This place is really nice. So I'm inside the man's changing area. They have so much out here. I'll show you guys after my treatment, but I'm inside of the locker room here. You get to pick your own locker, make your own code. They did give me a robe and slippers, so I'm gonna change and go wait for my therapist to pick me up. I have some white wine. We have towels, restroom. We have deodorant, mouthwash, shave cream, lotion, hairspray, towels, razors, combs hair dryer, you have some showers. Look at that. There's nobody in here, by the way. Very nice. Body wash, shampoo, conditioner. Then over 
over here you have the relaxation zone where your therapist will pick you up. They do have a steam room, but it's under a refurbishment right now. But they do have this shower here. It's like a rainfall shower. Can't wait to enjoy that. And then this is where you'll wait for your therapist to pick you up. Have a few TVs. Oh, there's Batman. Water, snacks, tea, maybe coffee. Yeah, this is awesome. I am now doing my second treatment, which is a compression treatment. I have two leg sleeves on. It's just nice compression. I'm wearing headphones and the little chair I'm sitting in is also vibrating with the music. It's very, very nice. This would be perfect for like, and after you spend all day in a theme park, come back to your hotel and get this done. This is so nice. Wow. That was one of the best massages I have ever had. And they gave me a little gift to take home. Thank you guys so much. This was awesome. I just made it back up to the room. As I was saying, that was one of the best massages I've ever had. I got a custom massage where basically you just tell your therapist what you want. I opted to get a sports massage just because I'm in the theme parks all the time. I've been working out pretty much every day. I needed a nice deep tissue sports massage and my therapist was awesome. I will definitely be back to get some more work done at the spa here at the Hilton Orlando. The whole team was just so nice and so awesome. Oh yes, and I was surprised with a second treatment. It was a basically a sports compression treatment. It's not even a sports treatment. It's just compression to your legs. So I basically put on like a leg compression suit and let's just say if you were in the theme parks all day, you get back to your hotel and your legs are just achy like mine are all the time when I get back from theme parks. Um, starting next week, if you're staying here at the Hilton Orlando, you can actually purchase a service where the spa will bring you the compression pants and like a bath bomb, a face mask, an eye mask, things like that, bath salts. It's a whole package where they will bring it to your room and you can enjoy it overnight. So that's something to keep in mind. That was a really nice touch. My legs feel so much better. It does look like it's probably going to pour for a little bit, but hopefully it's just a quick rainstorm and then we still need to play the escape game around the hotel. We have made it outside to the pool. Looks like the rain is coming, but over here the sun is still out. There's a fire pit. Very nice. There's some music bumping. Oh no, due to the weather, the pool is closed right now. Here we are at our private cabana poolside. Cabana number one. You have a few lounge chairs, a few tables. Towels are already here. Look at this, it is covered. And then you have extra privacy if you want it. This is so nice. There's a fan, a TV. A refrigerator with some beverages already in there. Telephone, remote, channel guide. It's down here. Some storage. A safe. This is very nice. There's a few other cabanas here. Here's the control for the fan. And here's a look at the main pool here where you can get drinks and food splash pad, there's a water slide right there, and then the adult only area is back here. Oh, they have a live DJ over there. Right next to the pool, you can find a basketball court, some games for the kiddos. That's the parking garage right there. Here's a better look at the water slide. Everything is still closed right now because of weather. They have life vest if you need them. This looks really fun. And then I am now coming up on the Lazy River. Here's the Lazy River. This looks really nice. Very tropical. There's some tubes, even more lounge chairs over here. There's one of the hot tubs right here. Looks like they are doing henna tattoos, airbrush, stuff to do in your hair for the kiddos. And here's the poolside bar. Yeah, this is awesome. 
We do have a live DJ right here. There's a pool table right here. And I am now heading over towards the quiet pool, which is the adults only section. And then there's a splash pad over here as well. There's the splash pad right here. More lounge chairs and cabanas. The weather still looks kind of bad over in this direction. I'm now walking through the adults only area. It's very quiet. There's not many people at all. This is cool. Here's a little jacuzzi with nobody in there. Some really cool chairs. I can't believe how empty it is. And there's the main adult pool right there. Wow. Another great view of this hotel here. I found another jacuzzi here. And the pool hours are from 7 a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m., weather permitting. This pool does offer zero entry as well. We just got back to our cabana. Very fancy, looks delicious. And some fruit water. We got the cha-cha slide going on right now, but I ordered a good old margarita poolside. It's really good. We have SpongeBob on. We are eating our fruit and we just ordered some more food. Our food has arrived. We got a Philly cheesesteak with no mushrooms, with fries. For the kiddo, we got a cheeseburger and fries. And we also got chicken wings, extra crispy. This looks so good. A few hours later, I don't even know what time it is anymore. We have just been having so much fun here at the pool. The water slide reopened, the lazy river. Uh, we spent some time in the hot tub. We got some food. We enjoyed this beautiful cabana poolside. It's, a, it's such a fun Saturday afternoon. And you know, I would kind of rather do this some days and not go to a theme park and walk around. I'm just able to kind of enjoy myself. I'm at peace, calm, relaxed, and enjoying time with the family. This was great. If you come here to the Hilton Orlando, if you want something else to do, definitely get a private cabana. It was awesome. Okay, I came back downstairs to the main lobby because I want to give you guys a brief hotel tour and show you everything that you can expect. Here is the front entrance. This is where you'll first enter. Valet drop-off check-in is right here. As soon as you enter, you are now inside of the main lobby here. Plenty of seating. This is the front desk where you will check in, check out, or if you have any questions on your stay. Also, if you are a Hilton Honors member, you do have priority check-in right here for gold members and diamond members, which is very nice. And this is the reason why we are here this weekend to experience Escape at Hilton Orlando, which is a escape room, but you're trying to find clues around the resort to go to the final room. And if you get to the final room, you complete the game. So we are very excited to do this in just a little bit. Moving on, check-in is right here. The front door is right here. If you continue walking this way, you will see a sign that says universal transportation because this is a universal partner hotel. It's right out front of, hello guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> this is located right by David's Club, which is like a, a bar. You can get bar food, drinks and such right here. But if you continue, just follow this arrow right out. And this is where the bus will pick you up. And here we are back outside. Just come right over here and the bus will pick you up to bring you over to Universal and it is included. You don't have to pay anything extra. Also, self-parking is just right over here. So you'll go underground and then up towards the back of the hotel. Here's the hours for David's if you guys were interested. We have not eaten here just yet. I'm still walking. I'm right outside of the scratch market where we had breakfast this morning. It was pretty good. But all over here is the conference rooms. And then if you continue walking, this hotel is actually connected to the convention center. So if there's any type of event happening at the convention center, this hotel is connected right down here. I walk down just a little bit further and here is the entrance over to the Orange County Convention Center. Just walk through these doors here. You have a covered pathway and there's the convention center right there. Very convenient. And you can find plenty of ATMs throughout this hotel as well. Oh, nice. You can also find a FedEx office here. This is such a beautiful main lobby. I love the decor throughout. To the right of the front desk, you can find Bell Services here. 
I really appreciate this touch here inside of the main lobby at these tables. If you need to charge, you can find a few outlets and a few USB ports. One of the best perks about staying here, since this is a official Universal Partner Hotel, you can buy official Universal tickets here. You can buy express passes. If you have any questions, need to pick up your tickets, this is where you will come. You can purchase the VIP tour experience here, buy lanyards. It's very nice. Oh, here's the shuttle schedule here. Let me get a little closer. There you go. And then here are the returns. Something to keep in mind if you don't have your own form of transportation here on your Orlando vacation. I have now walked to the other side and this is where you can find both elevators to both sides. That's the entrance and exit to the parking garage. If you park inside of the parking garage, there's just plenty of seating all over the place. More places to charge here. So if you have any kind of work that you need to do, this would be a perfect place to come. I just really love this lounge here. It's a really nice bar to kind of just come and relax watch any sports, have a drink. It's very, very nice. And on the other side of this bar here, you can find Spencer's where we had dinner last night. It was delicious. I highly recommend, but I did just find out sometime soon, the Hilton will be renovating Spencer's. So this may be closed in the coming months to get a renovation. I don't really think it needs it, but you know, it is what it is. This was such a great dinner last night. I will definitely be back. Just a quick recap, there's Spencer's. I am now going to walk down these stairs. This will lead me to the fitness center, the spa, and the pool area. Look at that view, beautiful. Oh yes, you can also find the bistro down here, and this is the breakfast buffet area that's offered every morning. It's open from 7 a.m. all the way to 11 a.m. And here's the spa in the fitness center where I had my lovely massage this morning. Here's a quick look inside of the spa. They have plenty of things that you can buy. It smells so good in here, by the way. My goodness. So if you need anything while you're here, they also have bath bombs too. If you have kiddos that wanna take a bath, they have jewelry. They also have the Hypervolt here. Love these things. Some flip flops. And then the treatment area is right here. And then if you go towards your right, this will bring you into the fitness center. And here we are inside of the fitness center. You have towels, cucumber water. Look at these machines. This morning I was doing the roll machine here and you can roll from anywhere around the world on the screen right there. Plenty of treadmills, full length mirrors here. Yeah, they have pretty much everything you will need if you are into fitness on your vacation. Free weights over there, ellipticals, very nice gym. And look at this view, poolside. And that was the full hotel tour. This place is beautiful. I think I found, well, I'm pretty sure I found another hidden gym here in Central Florida. We have not left this hotel once over the course of this weekend. We still have one more day tomorrow, but it's just a nice break. It's like a nice getaway from the hustle and bustle of theme parks and on the go. It's just really nice being able to stay in one place and have so many different things to do all in one place with the family. I mean, there's something to do for everybody here. All right, the very last thing that we have to do, we have to escape the Hilton Orlando, and this is something the entire family can do. You sign up at the front desk when you check in. I believe it's $75. I will leave more about this down in the description below. But like I said, this is basically a scavenger hunt around the hotel, and you're trying to find the very last room. So you're not trying to escape the room. You're trying to, I guess, get into the final room. It's a very different approach. Inside of the folder, you can find the instructions clues, tools that you will be using, and then you're just trying to fill this side out, find as many clues as you can, and like I said, you wanna try to enter that final room. Wish us luck, we'll need it. <laughs> just a heads up, you do have to download a app in order to play this. Okay, 
I have the app all set up. Let's head downstairs and get started. We have made it back to the main lobby. Let's get started. Tap to play. Ooh. Okay, first up, we have to go all the way to the top floor, which is floor number 19. As we look down, X marks the spot. There's three X's right here. These stickers really help, so anytime you're in the right place, just look around. If you see this sticker, you are in the right place. Now we are doing something with the nearest house phone, something with music. Dang, this game is kind of difficult, but it's really fun because it's quite challenging. All right, so I'm going to put the camera away now. I don't want to give too much away. Wish us luck because it's kind of difficult, but fun. Woo! What a stressful two hours that was. Like all escape room games, it's it's stressful. <laughs> but it was super fun. You went around the entire hotel. You went in some corners and some rooms that felt like you weren't supposed to be there, but you were supposed to be there. It was a fun time. Like, if you need something to do for the kiddos, that is perfect for you, but... For my adults out there, you may need a beer or a adult beverage. You can thank me later. But I think that's going to do it for this staycation. We have one more night here, but I think I'm just going to put the camera down and we're just going to enjoy our last night here and do some things all together and not film. Hilton Orlando, thank you so much for having us out. You guys were so sweet and kind to us. You really made us feel comfortable. Um, the spa was definitely my favorite part, followed by the cabana poolside and just spending time with the family like i was saying earlier just to have a place that you have all kinds of different things to do you don't have to get in a car or jump on a bus if you don't want to you have a lot to do at this hotel and i've been saying this for a long time every time we stay at any hilton no matter where it is even like the smaller hiltons like the hilton garden inns the food is always so good i'm so impressed by the hilton food and the food here was super good, especially Spencer's. Oh, I'm still thinking about that lobster tail. It was that good. But that's all that I have for you guys. I hope you're able to come check out this place on your next Orlando vacation. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely. And I want to make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Over those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside